I will introduce this uh, lecture very shortly, basically on, uh, just because I really don't know anything about it. Uh, we, we, we tried to, uh, I tried to learn something from Michal uh, several times, but uh, he was basically uh, presented uh, at the light festival in Wuch, which he survived, obviously, and it happened uh, last weekend, so a uh, so, uh, very busy guy. Uh, Michal uh, is uh, an architect uh, from Poland uh, who is uh, working with light uh, in public spaces uh, for living, basically. Uh, that's why uh, we invited him uh, already for the second time. Uh, last uh, year he also had a, a lecture uh, in uh, Olomouc and uh, he really can show a lot of uh, pictures from his projects uh, where you can see the light uh, or the, the public space before and after uh, when he did something with light in there. So I hope you will enjoy uh, his lecture. Floor is yours. Thank you very much, Hinek. Uh, maybe I will take the seat here because it will be easier for me if we, also with my English. Uh, I will show you a short presentation uh, about the light and about the uh, meaning of uh, transformation of the space, public space and urban space. Um, it starts or not? Yes, I think. Moment. It works. Uh, the presentation is all about the metamorphosis of the urban space uh, through the light. Uh, I will try to show you how differently the space uh, can look like uh, in different uh, types of light uh, usage. Uh, my studio is dealing with both traditional illumination uh, but also with new ways of adapting the space with light, with uh, a use of new technologies, such as uh, video mapping. I understand that a lot of people say here about the video mapping, uh, but I'm not, I will not talk about the mapping like an event, uh, uh, event play, but also for about the mapping which I'm using into my office uh, to work, to design, uh, to prepare the projects. Um, my office uh, is an office from Poland, from Nysa. Uh, uh, I have been running my office uh, architecture studio since 2000. Uh, we are focused on outdoor uh, illumination projects. Uh, as architects and engineers, uh, we pay a lot of attention to revealing architecture detail, uh, forms and shapes uh, through the light. Aesthetic and composition are the value we always to stand for. Uh, of course, when we start uh, in 2000, uh, we prepare a lot of projects, uh, typical architecture project. But uh, from eight years, we start to prepare only the lighting uh, design projects. Uh, it is it takes 95 percent of our work. And uh, now we start. Uh, are we, uh, if you are talking about the illumination in maybe in Poland and also in other countries uh, in Central Europe, uh, especially not in the main uh, towns, because if you are talking uh, about the main town like Warsaw, Pr Wroclaw, Poznań, uh, Gdańsk, there are. Um, I think that the same kind of level of illumination like in other countries and other towns in Europe. But if you are talking about the small places, which are very important from the architectural point of view, uh, they usually, uh, the, the illumination is uh, usually being done as a additional to the street lighting. It's a very bad thing, but it's real in Poland. Uh, we would like to illumination to be a most creative and most eye-catching part of the total project, and we are all the time we are talking about it to the government, to uh, to this to um, this uh, this person who want to have illumination because or because all the time they say okay please give me a functional illumination and maybe if we have money we will, we will do a small illumination of the architecture we say no because sometimes the the object the architecture is more important than the functional lighting of course for safety the uh, we have to do that but we have to stress a lot of our work to the to present the architecture because I'm an architect architecture. Uh, uh, 
this uh, this is a sample of the, the church in Silesia. Uh, when we quit uh, the illumination, we can uh, we cannot see the value and the beauty of the object. It's hidden somewhere in the in the darkness, and as you see here, is only one light. It's the most important light because the, 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 this is the entrance to the church, and <laughs> all people in this uh, in this town said it's enough. It's enough. Uh, we understand where to go and. And uh, for what is the illumination? And we said, of course, we can prepare your project, and we can you show the object in different uh, way, in different kind of illumination. This is a part of our uh, of our design, and. Uh, I think this is uh, why it's really important to prepare the complete illumination, uh, illumination project based on the unique and clear idea and assumptions. To have a clear story behind this project, to show what it's uh, all about. And all the time we are talking about the project, not only we will switch on the lights and it's enough, also we uh, very often we are talking about what is the idea of the project and what we will have when we finish this installation. Uh, object lost in darkness uh, is always uh, a starting point to the to the project. We cannot see it, value it, we cannot see it, value it, admire it, uh, it is simply invisible. We need to be aware that we will totally change the perception of this object and this is our project from, it, it was done two years ago. And this uh, uh, National Museum in Kielce, uh, we have a lot of uh, buildings uh, belongs to uh, which are belonging to a National Museum. This one is in Kielce, and uh, as you have seen, that we totally change the perception of this object. But we are here in, in Prague and we are talking about the festival, about the special time, but it's a very short time, uh, very short time and uh, many people say, okay, this illumination, the, this light installation are only uh, temporary, they are only for a few minutes and what will be with that uh, after the festival? All the time we are talking about the uh, light festivals, we are talking about the uh, place where we can try test uh, uh, or find something new way to prepare the illumination. The changes in the perception, look and the feel of the urban space can be easily noticed if, uh, during events and city fests. Yes, and it's very easy to design uh, the, the changes when, when we are uh, dealing with temporary installation. Uh, even if the projects are a bit shocking and uh, would have a chance to exist as a fixed installation on everyday basis, we are thinking that that uh, this uh, very important to take a part uh, like an uh, architecture office in this uh, in this uh, events. Uh, we, when we are doing a temporary installation, we are always take two things into consideration. One is the possibility of the future fixed realization. Uh, the other one uh, is highlighting uh, its uh, event character. Because uh, you have to understand this, uh, as uh, there is no a lot of uh, possibilities uh, in towns when we can uh, take uh, people who is responsible for the lighting in the city and say okay we will show you we will show you what we can do what you can have and maybe you can decide it to to take it uh, without the proper illumination a lot of architecture details uh, are just out uh, of people's sight and uh, we can make them visible and attractive so we can we, we can raise the attractivity of this place and this is also a sample from Tarnowskie Góry from Silesia that, that the project were prepared only for a few days. It was not a light festival because light festival is very popular <laughs> and sometimes we are trying to say okay leave the most important places for the light festivals and the other places we can only have a 
few days with light. Here is another example of focusing on details in, uh, in event illumination and sculpturing with uh, use of light. Uh, please not twist this. We change the uh, we change this, this place totally, uh, and if you are going uh, deeper. Uh, very often we, we are using a festival activities to make a, a trial illumination of the objects that could be final, that could be in final version, such as a trial illumination enables an investors to see how the illuminated objects could look like after realization. Very hard for me to say that, so I read it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, building in Tarnowskie Góry was uh, not visible in soda light, gets completely new elegant look uh, that could remain forever. It's the sample, but in the end uh, of the uh, of about, uh, in the end of talking about the uh, lighting festivals, I will show you the transformation because it was all about the transformation of the public space. Public space. Uh, I will uh, show. Uh, project uh, we made uh, six years ago and uh, it still is going on because it's a multi-stage project. Uh, um, I, would, I would like to pay attention to the perception of the total space and all elements in it, especially <laughs> that tram because it's our friend in this place. <laughs> it's very important travel connection point in Upper Silesia. Uh, uh, the space, uh, the space that is totally flooded with soda light, makes the colors completely unrecognizable. Mm, uh, this place was uh, perceived as one of the worst places in this area. Not weekly uh, visited by people and uh, very unsafe. And we start to work there with uh, functional lighting. The change started with uh, introducing uh, of functional white lighting, which made the space look more friendly, uh, brighter and safer. It was the first stage of our work. And uh, as you can see, colors became more recognizable. This is also the term, our friend here. And it's not uh, orange, it's white and red. And it was the first uh, prize for us <laughs> that we win, uh, that we have good colors there. Uh, we also illuminated parts of the greenery uh, there. It, in that case, greenery illumination was done is, uh, as uh, additional uh, to the functional lighting in this project. But it wasn't, uh, it wasn't left for a long time. There was another step to done. Uh, here is another uh, view of this place. But in that moment, we prepared this, uh, this area, this urban space, for revitalization. Because it was one of the beautiful places in Bytom in, uh, in Silesia. Uh, maybe you have never been there, but uh, this town looks awful. It's, uh, I think it's one of the worst towns in, uh, in Silesia. And when we start to work with uh, this project, a lot of people say we have never uh, seen our city in such a light and in, in so beauty. Uh, the next step was here. Uh, functional lighting is not enough. Uh, f not enough. Uh, as you can see, this picture uh, on this picture, uh, uh, we have more variable objects to be dragged out uh, from the darkness. Uh, here you can see only on the upper of the slide is a clock, and nobody knows what is the building uh, uh, and the, what is the beauty of the building. But the clock is illuminated since uh, First World War and it works very well, very well. It's one point of illumination we never change, only change the luminaries inside. The sources, we change the sources, but uh, the, um, how we say, the main idea of the illumination will stay. And uh, here's the slide, and uh, another view of this building is a historical high school building in this area. And we, in this way, we change uh, the place, we put the illumination on the, on the facades. Mm, now you can admire the, its beauty and richness of the architecture detail. Uh, the main assumption of the project was matching the lighting system, the colors of the luminaries, uh, to the ceramic facade of this building. 
because the most important thing was the, the, the ceramic elements uh, on the facades. And uh, we start with project, uh, the, the facades was in a very bad condition uh, for this time. When we finished, uh, we switch on the lights and the lights show uh, Every bad things on the uh, on the elevation on the facades, and in two weeks we have a decision to uh, that we start to revitalization the architecture of the, the building. Like in this way, uh, the lights help us uh, to work with the this place. Uh, a certain brightness of this space and visibility made people came and use it uh, without fear uh, here. But uh, now uh, you have an overall look on, on the space before our project. And I think this picture shows the um, main thing about the transmission, the, how it say, maybe uh, transformation. Transformation is a better way. Uh, this space, this is before, and it looks like that after our installation. Another picture from the other side is here. Uh, as you can see, a lot of uh, soda light uh, luminaries in different kind and different style, and all is orange there, all is orange. And, uh, and people, uh, when they came there, they say, okay, I have only two minutes for that, I have to wait for the tram and then go away as, uh, as soon as, uh, as it is possible. And after that, it totally changed. Uh, we have a greenery, we have uh, more places, it's also a monument there. And we started with this building and in the next step we will have uh, five new buildings to prepare the illumination. Maybe the one is good to start. It's our friend, the red drum, it looks like here. It's not play, it's only tilt shift photography, so, so it's no play. But uh, if uh, we are talking about public space, I will show you also our other, uh, I think, most important uh, project. It's not a, not a big project, but it's uh, very important for us, for my office. Um, it is a project which was made for the city of Gdańsk, and it is a building uh, icon of the city, uh, Gdańsk Crane. Uh, if we switch the lights on, we'll have such a project was done. And uh, I would like to drag your attention to the fact how important uh, is the, the localization of the project. If it's localized on the water, by the water, we have a double effect. <laughs> we need not so many <laughs> luminaries there. And uh, we can use the water like our uh, partnership in illumination. But if we stop talking about the traditional uh, illumination, uh, please imagine that what we uh, would like to go, uh, we'll, we, would, uh, we would go, uh, we would like to go further and deeper uh, into the topic of dragging objects out of the darkness. Traditional illumination is not only one possibility, to achieve that, and if we are talking about the illumination or the next step, um, please look at this uh, picture. It's a uh, historical cathedral in Lower Silesia in Nisa. This is the town uh, from I'm. Uh, I'm from this town, and uh, this uh, cathedral has no uh, illum uh, illumination system. Uh, we would have to use a huge amount of lighting equipment to make it visible, but we cannot achieve that uh, and moreover show it totally new look with a use of other technologies, such as video mapping. Uh, it is uh, our best place for doing testing and uh, of course, I work there with my students. It's installation and traditional installation using the LED luminaries uh, prepared by my students uh, in, in my lessons in the university. And one time we decided to go deeper and we prepare the video mapping. Of course, a lot of people say uh, that uh, the video mapping is an event, uh, event play. 
uh, but uh, as architects, we can say that we have a power on the building. We have mm, the power to change the building, uh, to make uh, it uh, in new way, in new look. Um, I think that very important thing is also that we can switch off the, uh, all elements which are connected to this building, and this, and we based on it. Uh, in spite of the temporary character of this installation, we managed to present the object in completely new design. And if we switch to another photo, uh, we managed to create the effects that are impossible to be achieved with a use of traditional lighting uh, equipment. Uh, fascinated with these uh, possibilities of this solution, we were uh, searching of, for connection between traditional illumination and non-standard effects that would like allow, uh, that would allow uh, such installation to exist as a fixed installation, fixed one. And uh, if we go further. Please notice uh, how huge are the possibilities of video uh, mapping on this uh, example of the same facades in, accordan, uh, in accordance to the traditional illumination. On the left side, you have the traditional illumination. On the right side, there is a mapping. Uh, uh, I think it's very easy to find that uh, we can totally change perception of the object. Uh, from the architecture point of view. There is a windows uh, from Lyon. Uh, also, this is a mapping installation. But as you can see, if we are talking like an architect, engineers, we can change the situation of uh, the condition of the building and uh, uh, put the, the video, video uh, projection or video uh, mapping uh, video illumination because maybe it's not not bad word to, for for it, and here's a uh, here's a building from Yelena Gura. It is not quite interesting illumination of the. It's a cool house in Yelena Gura can be, and we put there the our illumination. Made by video mapping as a sample of it, and. Uh, we decided that it's, it is possibility to put such an installation like a fixed one. And in the end, I will show you the part of our town, Nisa. Uh, it is an uh, ordinary look of our uh, market square. Uh, Nisa was uh, one of the most damaged uh, uh, towns uh, during the Second World War. And uh, this, uh, this is the last part of the old cities here. And we put the video projection, is a mapping, and we try to test the uh, illumination, the traditional illumination by the mapping. And uh, it's very funny because we can prepare a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, a variety of this uh, illumination, I show them to the um, magistrate and uh, ask which one you like to. And it was very easy to uh, show them. And uh, of course, the, we, we present the illumination in scale one to one. In the night, in the scale one to one, it was very impressive to have such a kind of illumination. So this video also can produce such a things. Also, we can go deeper uh, and mapping uh, allows us to seg a segmentation of the space and full control over the architectural context and we can switch off that these buildings are not interested not uh, interesting not beautiful for, uh, for this moment and stress only these things what are these things which are very impressive and uh, very important for the town as uh, it is our purpose of illumination and next step is a play with the facade facades and we play and do that for for only for the uh, temporary illumination and after that, we prepare this kind of projection 
and we say this is a part of this one uh, in the, this way this is the way we are going to to find the new way of looking of the illumination and uh, in the end i can show you this uh, this picture is my favorite one because uh, it shows the connection of uh, all lighting possibilities uh, such a traditional illumination in the back side, mapping on the left side, in the center is the uh, functional lighting. And I think in, in the end, I, th uh, I want to, sh to tell you that the next step maybe will be not that this is the mapping is only one thing, what will be after the illumination, after the luminaries, but if we can go um, and uh, manage the projects like one part of it is uh, for illumination, one part is for, for video production, and all of them are you know, together in one place, like this, uh, this sample here, I think it will be the best way to find the next steps for illumination. So, thank you very much. Sorry for my bad English, and uh, I think uh, we will meet. If you have any question, please ask me. I will answer all.